Hello everybody! We're here at RemoteCon with yet another very interesting product demo on remote work tools. Here with us we have GitTag. This is a screen sh and code sharing platform for developers. GitTag allows developers to record a video of their screen for a simple, simple and easy way to explain something about their code. Instead of talking with a generic meeting tool and sharing a code in chat, with GitTag developers can discuss their code in real time, do a pair programming, share their terminal, debug and collaborate as if, as if they were in the same room. GitTag is an online meeting tool for developers that integrates directly into the IDE so they can be more productive when talking to other developers. Founded by Tiago Monteiro and Dragos Fotescu in 2019, they are dis a distributed team with headquarters in San Francisco, USA. Short after their launch, they were included in, top, in the um, top 50 developer tools of 2019 by Stackshare, along with other amazing products. They are constantly growing, quietly shipping out new features and making GitTag faster and more robust every day. Anyone can actually follow their public roadmap. For our demo here today, we have Tiago Monteiro, co-founder and CEO at GitTag. Hello, Tiago. Nice to have you here. Hey, Alexander. Excited to be here to be showing GitTag. <laughs> so actually, go ahead and show us how, how is the platform like and how the, what does it do? Let's do it. Perfect. So here, what I have actually is uh, GitTag side by side with Visual Studio Code. So first, I'm going to show uh, GitTag. So one of the things that we are doing is that the platform is super, super simple, right? Like the things that the, the, the work of the developer is super complex. So we don't want to get in, in, in the way of it. So everything in the platform is very simple. Everything is around a team, right? So in this case, I'm in the brutal team. And and you can see that there is no like lot of stuff to, to annoy you. It's just like one big button, join meeting because that's all about what we are doing here to, to help the developers be more productive. So let's let's do that. Great. So in this meeting here, um, I'm going to turn on my camera here as well. And actually, Drag was there. Drag was, you can wave because everybody is hearing you. Yeah. So, so what we are doing here is we are in the middle uh, of a meeting, right? So the first thing that you can notice actually our our like our ads, our videos are not the main component of the GitHub. Like by default, we are super tiny because that's not that's not the most important. The most important thing are the content, the code that uh, that you are going through, right? So um, the coolest thing that we that we built so far is that you can start pair programming automatically uh, with, with the people that are in the meeting. So I have here side by side the Visual Studio code, and there is like this button start pair programming to brutal thing, and I'm going to start doing that. Okay, now I'm pair programming, and Drago is now pair programming with me. So right now, uh, Dragos is, is, is seeing this file that I'm changing here. I can see that he is in uh, line 62, and he can be typing in real time and do things with me uh, as we, if we were like seated back side by side. So there is no like screen sharing, consume a lot of CPU and things like that. We can hey there, and we can be uh, doing things together and really like asking technical questions, doing pair programming. He could be discussing something, debugging. Uh, problem uh, or really going and, and discussing ideas that we could be uh, think able to build for for GitHub, and I can then share in more files. So like now he can also see uh, this new file that I that I've just opened. So it's a very easy way to be sharing content and to be working uh, uh, with other developers in real time. Um, and yeah, basically that's that's GitHub. That's what we have here. Uh, there are a lot of things that we are going to that, that we are building right now. Actually, the moment that you'll be watching this video, here, if you try it, the more stuff are going to be here on the screen. So we are going to have like a chat, so you can quickly exchange things that you want to to have it type it. Um, we are going to have like a whiteboard, so if you wanted to go to like a higher level discussion, we can do that. Um, and yeah, it's it's uh, as simple as this. This is, and uh, that's that's give that online meeting tool for developers. Uh, are you planning to integrate with other products as well along the way, or how are you going about this? Yeah, definitely. So, what the, the, our philosophy behind that is, we all take a lot of care uh, about the the workflow, the tools that are used by the developers, right? So, what does it mean? Like, uh, we are going to integrate Slack. GitHub to be able to um, integrate also your terminal here, so you can see more content to, to be related 
So all those tools that people, the developers are using, we are going to, to have integrated here. So instead of like jump the call and see faces, you see uh, real work stuff then and can discuss about it. I'm assuming you came up with this product from a um, personal need, being developers yourself. But uh, can you tell us a bit more about your history and uh, who are you targeting? How are you planning to go about your the people that you're you're targeting? Yeah, yeah. So yes, we definitely we, we came up with uh, we actually we discovered GitHub by uh, struggling a lot. We used to work together in the same office. We started working remotely. And that's when we stopped to learn by ourselves. It was really hard to exchange information, to know what the other one was working on, to integrate fast. And we start building a very simple tool to record our screen, to share a very, uh, in a very easy way. And that's when we discovered that, oh, actually, that's a super cool way to, to exchange our code, to learn from each other. And by talking to other people, we noticed that other people were facing that problem as well. And everybody's using uh, a generic video too, to, to talk online, but we all have different needs when we are working. And that's why we are 100% focused on the developers. Um, so how are you uh, planning to, uh, actually, um, can this be used by other job functions as well? I understand developers and how, how it'd be useful for that, very, very useful in that sense, but can it be used by, I don't know, designers, let's say, or uh, any other job functions? Yeah, yeah, and, and that's that's interesting that you have mentioned that because one of our first users, I just mentioned that that uh, that they don't want to use this only for the dev team, but only use this for all the marketing, the product team as well. Because um, it's as we are building the tools that put the content in front of the, the discussion, not our faces, they can be used for screen sharing, for co browsing, and things like that. So we already, I mean, we internally use it for the design path as well. Uh, so because it's super easy to, to do that. And we are starting to see people using uh, for other jobs. And I mean, we find it super interesting that people are doing that and we are, and we are going to spot it as well. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you've been launched for a while now. Though. Um, can you please tell us maybe uh, how big is your user base at the moment um, and how are you planning to, what are your plans for growth in the future? Yeah, so we, we being a remote team, we all think about like the, the world being our canvas, right? So we, our, our goal is that people that are completely distributed, uh, distributed places can be working, collaborating with the others as if they were in the same, same room. So when you think about that, uh, actually our growth is having like a lot of people in the United States, a lot of people in, in, in the West and the, uh, the East Coast, but actually globally. Uh, our team is fully distributed. There are people in South America, people in, in, in Europe, uh, people in the United States as well. So uh, we, we really go in and play on the, on the, on the higher ground, on the, on the whole world. And, um, and yeah, I think that's... Uh, um, what about... You mentioned that uh, up until now, probably people were using um, video conferencing tools or maybe um, actually some other tools that, let's say, do uh, re uh, solve the, the need that you pointed out a bit, let's say, differently or um, um, quite, uh, yeah, yeah, a bit differently. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you differentiate against them and um, what's your added value of the product? Yeah, so we don't have any intention to be uh, like a horizontal video or meeting platform that can be used for uh, anyone. We are really, really focused to be uh, on the developer's uh, best tool. So when you think of in that direction, um, these allow us to think about features and do things that others cannot, get, really, really cannot do. Um, so. Yeah, there are like replacements that uh, what we are seeing that people are stitching together like uh, different tools uh, to be able to do the same job. And that's why we are building everything completely integrated, right? So like the basic things that, do, that uh, everybody is, is supporting, like to be able to talk in real time, to be able to see each other, to be able to screen share, like for example, in Zoom. Uh, but well, the UX is not like ideal. If you want to jump in a quick call, that's not ideal. Like the people are generating unique URLs hard to, to to share like when you think about a small team the use case is completely different so uh, when we have those 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 elements in, in place they our product starts to be really really different so there is nobody that's doing exactly what we are doing uh, what we have is uh, generic replacements uh, that do um, um, like a, a regular job for for everyone and and we think that is a great opportunity uh, when we are really really focused um, 
you said you're remoting yourself. Um, I'm, what are, let's say, some best practices that um, you may have drawn from working remotely with your team? Obviously, this product is one of them. It's a, it's a learning from your remote experience. But what are the best practices you may you may share with us? Yeah. So I think that uh, everybody needs to find their like their balance there and their rhythm uh, to be working remotely. So there are people that are much more asynchronous. There are people that are more like much more in the uh, write, writing content. There are people that really like to be uh, full live uh, and talking every time. So it's it's everybody has like the personal pace and and as our team is going to grow, we are going to adapt to to the individuals as well. In our case, what we found is like just having a very fast and 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 transparent communication is very important. Like to to really be transparent of everything, uh, how the company is going, how every, how, what our goals are, what our roadmap is, like what what we have been doing. I think that's that's crucial. Um, and just being able to be uh, present to know how other people are, I think that's that's a real, re really important. So just like having a transparent communication, and in our case, because I, I started mentioning about like the personal base of each one, we do have some written documentation. And I think that's that's important. Um, but uh, but like being able to really jump into a call, being able to really help each other as we were in the, in the same place. I think uh, to search that kind of serendipity, it's really, really important for the way that we work because we are super fast, so we value being fast and we are value being, being agile as well. Mm -hmm. And how do you see this remote work um, environment evolving and what role do you feel your company will play in it? Yeah, I, well, the, the world literally changed uh, in the next, in the, the, in the last months, right? So we, what we saw is uh, a situation that was not really going that direction being accelerated and just like from one to zero in in just a few weeks and that's that's i mean that's shocking that's hard that's that's how we came up with it that because when we did that transition we struggled a lot so we can understand that a lot of people are struggling with that but as as the weeks and the time goes on uh we think that uh, a new way of working is going to be uh that's not really like 100 remote not 100 uh, um, in an office, like a, a hybrid way that people can be very flexible, can be collaborating with people from any other place uh, in the world. I think that's super important, and that's that's what we are we are building for, right? Like the, that people can have these close uh, close uh, connection with people that can be like literally miles away from you, but uh, but you can be collaborating in a very very close. Um, and and we want to be that too for the developers, right? That people are in India, United States. In Brazil, they, they all collaborating and learn from each other and building great stuff uh, in a very efficient way. Thank you very much, Tiago, for being with us. Uh, thank you for showing us your product. So there you go, guys. Our online needs are actually very diverse, from project managers to designers to HR managers uh, or developers. Each type of profession requires a very specific approach to communication and collaboration. As online conferencing was not enough, now we have the next level of communication for developers, GitTag. Try it out, find, mo find out more about it on the RemoteCon website and join the conference for more on remote work tools. Thank you.